a look at the vehicles, it says to protect and serve. We use that as our mantra. We want our vehicles that we're coming out with to protect and serve the officers. Meet the new Ford Interceptor and Utility Police cars, coming to a police department near you at the end of 2011. We've been the dominant leader in the police industry for years, capturing over 70% market share. And Crown Victoria was the right vehicle at its time for the product. But it's time to transition to a new generation of police vehicles. What's your first impression? What's your immediate habits? I like them. Yeah? Yeah. You might recognize them as the Ford Taurus and of course the all new Ford Explorer. Now if you're not, you know, a police officer and look at these two cars, this is basically with the bigger engine, the Ford Taurus SHO, and this is a new Explorer. But they're different, you say. You say they're very different they from are the very they are very, very different. These are these are purpose-built vehicles for the police industry. No matter what you call them, you'll certainly want to keep an eye out in the rearview mirror for these new police cars, especially if you're speeding. All right, so let's talk about the power plants. Okay. Uh, this is the base you said, the 3.5. Right. Tell me about this power plant and tell me about the specifications in the car. Okay, what we have is, what's nice is where they had a single Crown Victoria offering before, today we're giving them the choice. We started off before the sedan and the utility, so let's call that choice number one. Right. Choice number two would be front wheel drive or all wheel drive. Third choice could come down to power plants. The power plants for the base unit is 3.5 liter. That will deliver in excess of 270 horsepower. Now by comparison, the Crown Victoria V8 is only 250. Now the one that people are being curious about is the EcoBoost, it's right? It's the EcoBoost, exactly right. It's the a 3.5 liter EcoBoost. Now that power plant is going to deliver in excess of 365 horsepower, and that has just set records at all police tests out there. That is a high pursuit, you know, powerful uh, performing engine. Talking about the uh, EcoBoost engine, I think the numbers are something like zero to 16 under six seconds. Is well, that right? yeah, that's correct. At the recent um, Los Angeles Sheriff's Department police yeah. testing uh, that they ran, it delivered best in class performance. It delivered 5.8 seconds, zero to 60. And that beat all of the V8 competitors that were in the class with. Why is the Interceptor better than the you know, Holden Source GM? Well, I can go into specifics. For an example, one of the key features that we didn't talk about on the vehicle on the interior is the fact that we've migrated to what the office agencies want, which is a column ship. Crown Vic's been around a long time, but it's it's been a workhorse, you know, it's, it, and it's been around, yeah. been around a long time because of that. It's it's. It's proven itself there, and that's one of the things that the new vehicles are going to have to do is prove themselves, and uh, time will only tell. You know, I couldn't have said it better myself. Roman Micah, reporting for TFLcar.com.